Hi, welcome to Spec Hunter. Imagine a desktop that's smaller than a book but powerful enough to edit 8K videos, run AI tasks, and handle heavy multitasking all without making a sound. That's exactly what Apple is doing with the upcoming M5 Mac Mini. It's not just another update, it's a big step forward. Apple is trying to push the limits of compact computing. And the M5 Mac Mini might be the best version yet. The Mac Mini has always been a quiet part of Apple's lineup. While the iMac gets the attention for design and the MacBook is loved for portability, the Mac Mini has always focused on value and performance. It has served students, developers, and creative professionals for years. People love it because it's simple, reliable, and cheaper than other Apple desktops. Back in 2020, Apple switched from Intel to its own chips. The M1 chip changed everything. It made the Mac Mini faster, quieter, and more efficient. It was priced at $699 and gave serious power for the money. Then came the M2, and later in 2024, the M4. The M4 brought solid improvements like 16 gigabytes unified memory, better performance, and even a lower starting price of $599. With occasional sales, it dropped below $500, making it one of Apple's best. Deals now. we are looking forward to the M5 version. Expected to launch in late 2025, the base M5 Mac Mini is expected to feature a 10-core CPU, including six efficiency cores and four performance cores. The GPU will also get a bump from 10 cores to 12. This means about a 25% boost in performance compared to the M4. You'll get smoother multitasking, quicker rendering, and even better support for games and graphics-heavy apps and it will still come in that compact, silent design for those who need more power. Apple is also working on an M5 Pro version. It will feature a 16-core CPU with 12 performance and 4 efficiency cores, along with a 22-core GPU. That's a serious machine. You'll be able to handle 8K video editing, 3D design, machine learning, and big software projects with ease. It's designed to perform like a workstation, but remains small and energy efficient. It also stays cool and quiet. Something Apple is great at with its silicon dot. Another big change is the expected support for a Thunderbolt 5. This new version will triple the data speed of Thunderbolt 4, reaching up to 120 gigabits per second. That means faster. File transfers, smooth use of external GPUs, and easy connection to multiple high-resolution displays. Even the base M5 Mini is rumored to support this, which is impressive because these high-end ports are usually limited to Apple's more expensive models. Apple is also upgrading its neural engine. This will boost the performance of AI and machine. Learning tasks. You'll see faster photo edits, real-time voice transcription, smart video tools, and more. And the best part is that it all happens on the device. No cloud needed. Everything runs fast and private. The M5 Mini will still start with 16 gigabytes of unified memory and 256 gigabytes of storage. But there will be options to upgrade to 512 gigabytes, 1 TB, or 2 terabytes. Unified memory is still one of Apple's biggest advantages because the CPU, GPU, and neural engine all share the same memory. Everything works together more smoothly. That means better speed and more efficient power use. On the outside, not much is expected to change. Apple might make it slightly smaller. The cooling system could be improved too. Some leaks suggest new color options like midnight black or space gray. The ports will likely stay the same. Four Thunderbolt ports, two USB, -A, HDMI 2.1, and Ethernet. It's simple, clean, and ready. For the future dot, the price is expected to stay at $599 for the base model. The M5 Pro may cost around $1,399, but as with previous models, the regular version might go on sale and drop under $500 again. That would make it one of the best performance-to-price deals in Apple's entire lineup dot as for the release. Most signs point to late 2025, probably October or November. Apple could release it alongside new MacBook Pros or iPad Pros if things are delayed. We may see it in early 2026. Either way, it's coming soon. So why is the M5 Mac Mini important?
because it shows Apple's goal to bring high performance to more people. With better chips, AI features, faster ports, and smart design, it makes powerful computing more accessible. You don't need a big desktop tower or a super expensive Mac to get serious work done. The M5 Mac Mini is powerful, compact, quiet, and affordable. It's a great choice for creators, students, coders, or anyone who needs fast performance in a small space. If you're excited about the M5 Mac Mini, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more deep divies on Apple Tech. Let us know in the comments. Are you planning to upgrade or still using the M1 or M2 version? And before you go, check out our videos comparing the M4 and M5 Mac Mini Plus. Don't miss our guide on hidden Apple Silicon features you should. No, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. For more videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest updates.